question 5 uh, if the sum of numbers of zeros at the end of the factorials of the first n natural numbers is 310 sum of number of zeros at the end of factorial of first n natural numbers so there we are starting with one factorial two factorials till n factorial right and the sum of zeros at the end of these values is 310 okay we need to find the value of n basically here the factorial of how many of these natural number will end in an odd number of zeros okay let's solve it so basically what we are doing is one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial not exactly plus but the number of zeros are being added here till n factorial and the number of zeros should come out as 310 so let's start with 1 factorial to 2 4 factorial there will not be any zeros 5 factorial to 9 factorial we have 1 0 each okay 5 5 numbers we are basically we are talking right 10 factorial to 14 factorial we have two zeros 15 factorial to 19 factorial we have three zeros 20 factorial to 24 factorial we have four zeros one point should uh, come to your mind is that till what number should we go right you have observed till now that this give, gives you a group of five isn't it five numbers here five numbers here five numbers here five numbers here and so on and so forth so to make an approximate value of n we can simply divide 310 by 5 to give you an idea that tell how much number you need to go right this gives you 62 so we need to come around 62 or lower than that in any ways right why lower than that we'll come to that also now 25 factorial to 29 factorial this gives you how many zeros 25 upon 5 is equal to 5 upon 5 is equal to 1 6 zero, right powers of 5 we need to find in any ways right so from 25 factorial to 29 factorial we will not get 5 zeros we will get 6 zeros that is why I am saying that we need to go less than 62 by less than 62 right so n should be less than 62 here because I am getting more number of zeros here this will happen again right similarly 30 to 34 we will have plus 1 7 35 to 39 we will have 8 42, 44, we have 9, 45 to 49, we have 10 and 50 factorial again, see whenever we have multiple of 25, we skip 1, right? So here also 50 factorial to 54 factorial will not have 11, we will have 12, okay? Let's count till here, okay, because we need to go less than 62. If we are getting less number of zeros, we'll, we'll go again, right? The move again. So how many numbers are there? Uh, this all values should be multiplied by five, isn't it? So how much the, let's add it first of all, right? We have six, six plus four, 10. Till here we have 10, this is 13, 23, this is 17, 17 plus 13 is 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 62 into 5 is 310. So that is sufficient. So we know that n is equal to 54. Correct. Now, what is the question? Uh, factorials of how many of num these numbers uh, will end in an odd number of zeros? So odd number of zeros, I am getting 1, 3, 7, and 9. So five numbers here, five numbers here, five numbers here, and five numbers here. That gives you 20 such numbers. Language might be confusing in this question, but if you follow it thoroughly, it will be easy to solve. Slightly lengthy, obviously, right? But, I mean, if you can do it, you can do it, isn't it? Choice matters, right?